Looks like key matchup tonight is down inside in the paint. Oh, yeah, Kevin. <laughs> Expect this one to be really physical. If either team backs down, they can just get run over tonight, but I don't expect that to happen. It's going to be a slugfest. Ah, we love those kind of games. They're a lot of fun. You aren't kidding. So a look at our starters for the Knicks. We've got Jalen Brunson. Carl Anthony Towns is out there with OG Ananobu. Then it's Josh Hart, and it's Bridges in at the shooting guard. Now here's Suggs. Jalen Brunson missing his last shot. Shot clock at six. Hard against Wagner. No good on his first attempt of the game. And here's Bridges. He'll bring it up for the Knicks. Pass to Brunson. About one minute into the first quarter. To the paint. And it's Ananobi. That time on the assist by Towns. And the fireworks begin should be an amazing show tonight. Yeah, and it's important to get that first score quickly and establish your game. Now, here's Ben Carroll. Outside for Caldwell Pope. There's Wagner with the three. Carl Anthony Towns with the rebound. Brunson outside. Got that bucket in in no time at all. With how fast Brunson plays, his pull-up is really unguardable. Orlando's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Carter outside. Back to Suggs. That one falls coming off Carter's feet. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Once he gets in deep on the defense, there is no way he's missing a layup like that. Here's Bridges. Tries again. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. And you have to account for Towns on the backboards. He is too big to miss. Suggs dishes to Carter. I see you, I see you. Magic moving the ball around. Pass to Van Carroll. Bridges with the board. The Knicks leading by four. Back in 2022, the number one overall pick was Paolo Bancaro. What do you think of his game? You have to love his game, Kevin. I mean, handles the ball as a big guy at 6'10", makes plays for other people, scores, gets to the free throw line. All-star game in his second year. And on that team, he has really, really looked to defend this guy's future Find is the bright. Find the and lane. their coach is another nice guy shot. from the Seattle area, right, who has come on the NBA and star. There have been quite a few of them. Although they were eliminated in the first round, last season was a success stand for the Magic. It sure was, Kevin. I don't think many people had them even making the playoffs, but they fought hard pushed the Cavs to seven games and gained valuable playoff experience. And Jamal Mosley has called timeout. He wants a minute here to get things straightened out with his team.
And so here's Orlando. Seven-point differential. Carter with a screen on Brunson. Here's Suggs. From down in the low post, it goes. Suggs has got his second bucket of the game to go. A oh, strong move by Suggs inside, not allowing the contact to hold him back. Pass to Bridges. Towns sets the pick for Bridges. That one goes. Count it. The Magic have gone 2 of 5 here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Van Carroll finds Suggs. Carter outside. Towns with the steal. All alone. And then Carl Anthony Towns with the jam. Oh, my. Carl Anthony Towns with a little extra emphasis on that one. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. And Carroll outside. It's hauled in by Carl Anthony Towns. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. I had a chance to catch up with Jamal Mosley. We talked about facing a point guard like Jalen Brunson, and he told me Jalen's got a great sense for angles and knows how to attack if anyone's out of position. We have to stay disciplined on defense. Of course, Brunson will be the focus of their attention tonight. Back to you. All right, thank you, David. Now, here's Ananobi. Paolo Bancaro unable to get his last shot to go in. Just five to shoot. And it's Ananobi, that time on the assist from Brunson. Ananobi's got eight. They had been excellent so far, coming in with a well-balanced attack. Yeah, now it's all about maintaining this lead. But you can't start playing it safe. You got to keep attacking and executing. Now, here's Ananobi. He's got eight. Towns high post. On the wing, Bridges. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope. On deep, Brunson. It's hauled in by the Magic. Ogner with it. Now guarded by Towns. Ogner passes to Suggs. Ogner against Towns. Back to Van Carroll. Hits the jumper in space. And this is the type of go-to score this team wants Van Carroll to be. They love his confidence. Runs in the pass to on and open. Towns down low, defended by Carter. Brunson scanning the floor. Towns a screen on Suggs. On deep, Brunson. Next with a new 14. Bridges finds Towns. Towns is double. Out to Brunson. Over Carter. Brunson no good. And there hasn't been anything easy for him in this period. Well, the offense has to look for ways to get him easier shots, better selections. You have to be set up for success. Now, here's Suggs. Jalen Brunson missing his last shot. And talking about the Knicks, G.A., do you feel they took a step forward last season? I do. I mean, losing in seven in the conference semis with all the injuries they had that, that really kind of set them back they ended that game seven with the Pacers missing four of their starting five so no doubt expectations will be high and the first one at the line is good Working his way from scout to head coach, Jamal Mosley was a longtime assistant under Rick Carlisle. He has paid his dues, coach. Yeah, and Kevin, I really admire the guys that put in the time, as you say, pay their dues and get themselves ready for when they get the opportunity. There's a lot of outstanding younger coaches in this league.
Jamal Mosley's as good as any of them. Yep, I would agree. New York leading by eight. On the wing, Ananobi. Back to Brunson. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Brunson. That's his first foul. Oh, great defense there. Anticipated the play and got there first. The Magic have gone 3 of 7 from the field since we've gotten underway. Timeout, timeout. And Jamal Mosley has called timeout. This will give him a chance to discuss some potential alterations. Caldwell Pope finds Carter. Bridges with the steal. Here's Hart. Pass to Towns. Got a piece of it. The Magic trail by eight. Now Caldwell Pope. Still scoreless. Hart against Wagner. Carter with a screen on Hart. And that one's good, Wagner. Yeah, that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Yeah, it's certainly worth it to disrupt the offense. Coaches notice that extra effort. Now here's Brunson. No good, unable to end this run. And here is Suggs. Pass to Carter. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to go on Josh Hart. And he's a crafty, kind of an old-school big. Carter Jr. knows how to keep defenders off balance. First free throw is good. Well, there's a unique profile for Wendell Carter Jr., a tremendous rebounder and shooter, and now he's playing on a pretty good team, and he's a big reason why. He sure is. Look, he's really big at 6'10", 270. All right, top 20 in the league in rebounding and effective field goal percentage. Can shoot the three. Great blend of size, skill, and toughness. Now, here's Ananobi. He's got eight. Towns kicks to Bridges. And he makes that one. A nimble inside play by Bridges, working his way to a close range shot. Suggs dishes to Carter. Back to Suggs. Over in the corner, Bancaro. Pass to Caldwell Pope. And an OB sends it back. Bridges deciding where to go with it. And an OB outside. Bridges against Caldwell Pope. Bridges inside. Hart kicks to Bridges. On an OB passes to McBride. Lock at six. New York needs to get off a shot. Towns. And Carroll grabs the board. Well, that's a miss you can live with. I expect they'll go to it again, especially if the defense continues to concede it. And Carroll has screened for Suggs. Over in the corner, Caldwell Pope. Ananobi against Ben Carroll. Shoots over Ananobi. Bancaro, that's good. Oh, good to see that Bancaro has options if he can't penetrate. Your game has to be multifaceted in the league. It doesn't go for him. Good work defensively by Carter. And here's Caldwell Pope. He brings it up for the Orlando Magic. Trailing by four. Got a piece of it. And stolen by Ananobi. In the corner, it's Bridges. Pass to McBride. 
Ananobi against Ben Carroll. Five on the clock. Ananobi kicks to Bridges. And the Knicks miss again. Here's Orlando now. They've gone in a 10-2 run, not allowing much. And Carroll was screened for Suggs. Looking for Bridges, he gets it there. And now the Knicks on the break. Here's McBride. It's hauled in by the Magic. 149 left to play in the first quarter. Here's Ben Carroll. That's miss number three for him. Now two for five from the floor. Now here's Hart. No scoring in this one. Towns a screen on Caldwell Pope. For three, Bridges sinks the triple. And the Knicks lead by seven. A capable shooter from all three levels. And Bridges with the smooth release. Van Carroll looking around. From downtown, hands it from downtown. Van Carroll's got seven points. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, you know it's become a three-point shooting league. Teams shooting a steady diet from outside. Now, here's Bridges. He's got seven. Pass to Towns. Out of bounds, Orlando takes possession. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. So a new group on the floor for Orlando. And a new group in for the Knicks. Sims is checked in. Achua comes in for OG Ananobi. Warren's checked in for Josh Hart. And it's Jalen Brunson in for Bridges. They can trade two for one here. Would be the right move, I believe, right now. Wagner is green on Brunson. Back to Wagner. Pass to Isaac. Good ball movement here by the Magic. Here's Black. Banked in off the glass. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. New York's gone 2 of 5 from three point land here in the first quarter. Brunson outside. Down to five on the shot clock. He lobs it up and stolen by Wagner. A big time effort for OG Ananobi, providing a lot of energy for New York. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the Knicks. Well, our coaching staff has to be happy with how active they've been defensively, forcing turnovers and making the offense uncomfortable. And, and let's also give them some credit for running the break so well. They're making the most of their chances to score in transition. Here are the five New York has to start here in the second. We've got T.J. Warren, Miles McBride out there with Jalen Brunson. Then there's a Chua, and it's Shamit in at the three. Here's Anthony. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. The Knicks with the lead. Warren the pass to Brunson. Brunson hard finish inside. Playing bigger than he looks. Brunson has a lot of heart. Here's Black, defended by McBride. Here's Ben Carroll. In the hoop for his fourth field goal. Four for seven shooting and looking for more. Well, when you have a scorer as skilled as he is, you do everything you can to get him the looks he needs. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. Jalen Brunson is a very cerebral player. He says he focuses on the little things. The attention to detail has made the game a lot easier. I know what I'm capable of. So as long as I keep working on my craft, keep the same mindset, only good things are going to happen for me. Kevin, back to you. 
Good stuff, David. Amazing how far he has come. We appreciate the report. That free throw, no good. GA, as you know, Jalen Brunson is a second-generation NBA player. Yeah, his dad, Rick Brunson, was an 11-year vet who also played overseas and eventually settled in as a coach in this league. So Jalen grew up in those NBA locker rooms. And he sinks the second. Greg, you look at the great coaches. What are one or two of the most important qualities for success that you see? Well, for me, Kevin, I think you got to be able to adapt tactically. I mean, that's huge, and especially in the playoffs. But most important, can, can you motivate and unify a locker room? That leadership quality is what really puts a coach over the top. Here's Warren after the made shot from Cole Anthony. Warren, the pass to Achua. The dunk by Achua. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. For New York, they have shot two of three from the free throw line tonight. And at the line last season, about 78% as a team. Pretty solid numbers. The Knicks making a switch here. Payne's checked in. What's up? Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. And Carroll passes to Harris. Here's Anthony. Down low. And Wagner drives in. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. Orlando shooting their fifth and six free throws of the game. from Wagner. Both free throws good from Wagner. Here's Brunson. He has five. Pass to Payne. Outside Warren. Drives to the hoop. Great defense that time from Van Carroll. Harris drives in. And the shot goes down and he gets this game back to even. For New York, they've gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Here's a chew up. Good on the three-point shot. Achua's got six points. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Here's Black, defended by McBride. Black kicks to Anthony. Wagner with a screen for Anthony. Shot clock at five. Stolen by Brunson. Here's Warren, still yet to score. And now the fast break, Anthony with the ball. And it's Anthony with the jam. Gotta take care of the ball. They'll punish you uh -huh. if you're that careless. That's right, and that's severe punishment right there. Well, as a coach, turnovers will drive you nuts, but sometimes that happens when you're aggressive. So there's a bounce. Now here is Harris, pass to Van Kuhn. Goes back up, and that's two points on the layup. Bancaro's got the lead up to one now for the Magic. And the paint is where you love to watch Bancaro work. With his size and athleticism, he can attack so effectively inside. Anthony against Brunson. Now Achua. That one wide left. Here's Black, defended by McBride. Anthony, the pass to Ben Carroll. 
Wagner as screen on Warren. Here's Ben Kill. And it's Orlando with another. Excellent work in the screen and roll. Boncaro solid at knowing when to shoot in those sets. Brunson against Anthony to the middle. Here's Payne. And out of bounds is the Magic will gain possession. For the Magic, Jonathan Isaac is checked in for Bancaro. And it's Suggs in for Cole Anthony. OG Ananobi's checked in for New York. Mikhail Bridges comes in for Payne. And Jamal Mosley has timeout. called timeout. And coach has decided Pardon. they need a moment to talk things over. Orlando making some changes. Carter, he's checked in for Wagner. Wagner comes in for Harris. And it's Contavious Caldwell Pope in for Black. <laughs> On defense, New York. It's a three-point game. Suggs against Brunson. Here's Isaac. Back to Suggs. Carter with a screen on Brunson. No one near Suggs as he lets it go. Once again off the mark, Orlando. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. And Brunson, here we go. No good from 11 feet. I think he got the shot he wanted inside, but somewhere on the play, he just lost focus. Pass to Suggs. No good on the three. Knicks trail by three. Thompson with it. Five points in the game. Five to shoot. Here's the floater. Basket made. That's his third of the game. He's three for nine now. Amazing floater from Brunson. He continues to show how dangerous he can be. Wagner finds Suggs. And it's Jalen Brunson with the rebound. And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for New York. McBride. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. Caldwell Pope up top, defended by Bridges, and finished off by Wagner. Oh, going high to throw that one down. Sky high, fantastic one-hand jam. Ananobi outside. Pass to Achua. And here's Brunson. Who's watching here? Spins. Orlando grabs the miss. Isaac outside. Caldwell Pope on the wing. Back to Isaac. Oh. 
Good D by Ananobi. Knicks trail by three. One of the best three and D wings in the league. Well, let's start with OG Ananobi, who excels from the corner. And Kevin, about 45% on quarter threes the last couple seasons. So OG can space that floor horizontally. That's in addition to his elite defensive ability. Shooting two. And he can't get the first one. You know, Stan, when I think of you as a coach, I think defense. So let me put you on the spot as you assess the wing defenders in the NBA right now. Who are some of the top two or three that you notice? Well, look, there's so many good ones. My favorite right now is Lou Dort because he's so strong, he's so disciplined, and he has an amazing ability to use his body even against guys that are a lot taller. He is a frustrating guy for great scorers to play against. Now he brought a lot to the NBA, but haven't the Thunder done a good job developing that kid? Well, they have, and look, they've got other great defenders too, like Jalen Williams. Now Brunson, after Paolo Bancaro misses from long range with the step back. Here's Brunson, and the Knicks miss again. Orlando leading. Bancaro outside. Suggs against Brunson. Outside for Caldwell Pope. And the three ball is good. Caldwell Pope's got the lead up to five now for the Magic. And the three-pointer, a big part of KCP's game, about half his shots come from out there. And the timeout called here by Tom Thibodeau. He's going to have a discussion here on the sideline. For the Knicks, Hart, he's checked in for Miles McBride. And Cameron Payne subbed in for Jalen Brunson. Bridges outside. Pass to Ananobi. Now here's Payne. He's guarded closely. Just five on the clock. Offensive rebound. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. In a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Magic. Well, yeah, early on, the mid-range jumpers have been an important part of their attack. They're going old school. And also, give them the a lot of credit the for that attack mode mentality off the dribble. Getting a lot of points off the penetration. Back 
that's good from Payne. The Magic have gone 8 of 16 from the field in the second quarter. A nice, efficient 50%. Back to Suggs. Carter on the wing. Van Carroll draws the double. And that one is good from Suggs. And as we see Suggs develop his game, you'll see more of this Jalen with the ability to operate off ball. Now here's Payne. Pass to Towns. With the floater. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's going to be on Wendell Carter. You know, the size, talent, and fearlessness of Towns is a lethal concoction, a prime time player who Should poses be. many problems for the defense. The free throw drops for Towns. Man, we're seeing some big paydays for NBA head coaches these days, Stan. Uh, <laughs> do you miss it? <laughs> do I miss the paychecks? I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, payday was always really good in the NBA. No question about that. What about but now, you know, though? What about now? Well, it's gone through the roof. But look, the trade-off is the paydays are big. But there's not a great deal of job security, Kevin. Now, here's Ben Carroll. He's got 13. Pass to Wagner. Out of bounds. New York takes possession. And here's Bridges. He'll bring it up for New York. Oh, good on that one. Caldwell Pope with some nice D. Magic leading by three. Wagner with it. Bridges covering. He gets that one. That's seven points for Franz Wagner. And, and smart ball movement there from Bancaro. And that selflessness will endear him to his teammates. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Hey, Kevin, last season, the Magic extended Coach Jamal Mosley's contract through 2028. He said, it's not about me. I just want each one of these guys to reach their full potential. This game has been good to all of us. I want to be part of maximizing how great they can be on and off the court. Kevin? All right, David, thank you. Shot clock at five. It's rebounded by Towns. Towns has got seven rebounds in the game. Inside. And the dunk by Towns. And forget those threes, Cat. Get the easy ones. Orlando's gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. Suggs dishes to Ban Carroll. 125 left in the first half of the game. And then Carter with the jam. You know, liking the vision there from Caldwell Pope. Looking to get his guys going when they're open. Now here's Payne. He's covered by Suggs. The fadeaway. Ananobi, no good. Magic leading by five. Here's Ben Kill. Basket made. That gives him seven field goals in 13 tries. Well, the defense puts contact on Bancaro inside, but he just bullies right through it. New York's gone 3-6 tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. To the inside. It's stolen by Bancaro. Here's Suggs. Out to Carter. Fires for three. Rebounded by Hart. Knicks trail by seven. We've got 28 seconds left to play here in the half. Bridges up top. He's got seven. And again, New York turns it over. Yeah. 
There's 18 seconds left in the first half. Van Carroll against Ananobi. Pass to Wagner. No, 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 no. And so it's Orlando bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. And we'll be right back after this. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. You know, Paolo Bancaro, guys, has been exceptional. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. Yeah, I'd love to see what they drew up in the locker room because you're right. He's the problem right now. Orlando leading by seven. Wagner and Bancaro are the forwards. In the backcourt form, it'll be uh, Suggs and Caldwell Pope. And it's Carter in at the center, locking down the middle. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Magic. Towns with the steal. In the corner, it's Bridges. Some nice passing by New York here. Brunson against Suggs. Brunson, no good. Well, he is desperately trying to get something going, but this has not been his night. They need to consider making an adjustment. Now here is Carter. And it's Van Carroll missing. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Brunson the pass to Ananobi. That falls. Nice feed that time from Brunson. Brunson's got three assists now in this one. And it's Ben Caro top the key. It's rebounded by New York. Towns has got eight rebounds in this game. Brunson outside. On the wing, Bridges. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope. Six on the shot clock. Towns in the corner. Stolen by Carter. Suggs against Brunson. Suggs kicks to Caldwell Pope. Looking for Carter. He gets it there. And it's out of bounds. The Knicks will take it the other way. So it's the Knicks now. They haven't given up any points here in the second half. Pass to Ananobi. Suggs against Brunson. Looking to end his cold spell. Brunson among the bigs. And defense is all over Brunson inside, but still manages to outmaneuver them for the deuce. Orlando leading by three. Now Suggs. He's got nine. Bancaro outside. 
Five on the clock. Carter sets the pick for Van Carroll. A three-pointer is right on target. Van Carroll's got 18 points in the game. And this is what everyone wants to see. Van Carroll is attacking without hesitation on the offensive end. Towns against Carter. Right side Towns. Suggs with the steal. And an OB outside. And here is Bridges. Seven points in the game. Left side, Towns. Five to shoot. And Anobi finds Bridges. Launches from deep. And it's Suggs with the rebound. Magic leading by six. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. And he converts the layup. 11 points in the game. Oh, bigger than your average guard, Suggs can score all around the floor, including down low. Back to Brunson. And it's sent back by Carter. How about the anticipation from Carter Jr.? Has a strong sense for when to go after that block shot. There's the pick. Inside. And Suggs throws it down. And he just dangles from the bucket <laughs> after sending that one through. And you can see which team has the swagger right now. Time Guys, time they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. And Tom Thibodeau decides to call timeout. He wants to make some adjustments to the game plan, clearly. Brunson outside. Pass to Ananobi. Back to Brunson. Ananobi outside. A shot's good on the assist by Brunson. Ananobi's got 13 points. And what an assured player. Ananobi believes in his ability to shoot the ball off the catch. Here's Ben Kill. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That one goes on Ananobi. All right, well, look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Magic. Well, they've been hitting threes at a high clip, and the defense hasn't Take done enough to challenge them at the line. They need to close out and run them off the three. And something else that stands out is how efficient they've been from the mid-range, making the most of their opportunities. That free throw, good from Van Carroll. From Rookie of the Year in 2023, to an all-star, Greg, in 2024, Paulo Bancaro. 
And Kevin, that really says it all, doesn't it? Few players hit the ground running like Moncaro has. Becoming an elite competitor, people fear almost instantly. He hits one, then this is the second attempt from the free throw line. And the biggest reason Bancaro went first overall, Powell brings your playmaking ability at 6'10". He's got a very rare skill set for that size. Now, Bancaro. After Mikel Bridges missing on that last three-pointer. Bancaro passes to Suggs. Doesn't go for him. Good D by Ananobi. Wagner against Hart. Pass to Ananobi. Bridges outside. Ananobi against Suggs. Four on the clock. Charity swipe shot. Carter pulls it in. Carter's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Wagner finds Caldwell Pope. Brunson against Suggs. That three off the mark. And here's Bridges. He'll bring it up for the Knicks. Pass to Brunson. Three-pointer. Brunson from long distance. Just a reflexive move by Brunson, putting complete trust in his mechanics. Suggs against Brunson. And he comes up with the deuce. Suggs has got 15. Wow, he doesn't make plays like that very often. That's a nice move inside. Brunson kicks to Towns. Some nice passing by New York here. Pass to Ananobi. And there's the call on Carl Anthony Towns. That's his first foul. And New York making a change here. Achua's checked in. Orlando leading by seven. Now, here's Ben Carroll. 19 points in the game. His three-pointer's off the mark. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Achua, the pass to Brunson. Good work defensively by Carter. That's a defender doing just enough to cause a miss on the layup. Bancaro outside. It's rebounded by New York. Up top, Ananobi. He's defended by Wagner. Over to the left wing. New York missing again. Orlando's gone one of four and three point shots here in the third. Caldwell Pope kicks to Bancaro. Sinks that one from the post. Bancaro's got six points in the quarter. And I know Coach loves to see Bancaro get rolling out there. He is capable of some serious production. And Tom Thibodeau decides to call timeout. He's made the decision he wants to huddle up with his guys.
Bridges finds Brunson. And it's Orlando with the rebound. And Garrow's got his sixth rebound on the night. To the middle. Here's Carter. And then Carter with the jam. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. Here's Brunson. He's got 12. Pass to Achua. To the paint. Here's Ananobi. And Ananobi slams it in. And no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. And we've got a timeout called by Jamal Mosley. Wants to talk some things over. Might be seeing some things to adjust. And Orlando making a change here. Hogner's checked in. The Knicks also changing it up. Miles McBride comes in for OG Ananobi. And Cameron Payne subbed in for Jalen Brunson. The Magic leading by nine. Bancaro outside. Back to Suggs. They double him with pain. No one near Bancaro as he lets it go. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. And this is something Bancaro continues to hone, wanting to become a dangerous threat from deep. Pass to Achua. Now Tau. And stolen by Wagner. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. It's tipped and stolen by Achua. Out to the right wing. Here's Payne. He trains the quick shot. Payne's got five. Well, you guys know I love analytics, but I still like the mid-range, especially when he's taking the shot. Wasted no time on that one. And Carroll's got the lead up to 13 now for the Magic. And he's one of those guys that just keeps coming at you. Paolo Bancaro is special. Down low. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. For New York, they have gone seven of nine from the free throw line tonight. And he makes the first. So for the Magic, Harris is checked in for Wagner. Black comes in for Caldwell Pope. And Anthony's subbed in for Suggs. And a switcher also for New York. Warren's checked in for Mikael Bridges. And Towns drops them both. Well, he's been very good at the line, and we all know free throws can make or break you in the end. Bancaro inside. A chew is on him. And it's Bancaro missing. Knicks trail by 11. Outside Warren. Pass to McBride. 
New York, no good that time either. Orlando's gotten the three-point shot off 16 times tonight. Seven times they've hit it. Nine times they've missed. Here's Ben Carroll. It's hauled in by Achua. Achua's got four rebounds in this game. To the middle. Yeah, easy call. For New York, they have shot nine of 11 at the free throw line. throw good McBride and McBride drops them both Here's Bancaro. He's got 27. Inside. Here's Wagner. Goes straight through the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul. He'll go to the line. That one is on Towns. And for his position, Bancaro, great vision and willingness to make the extra pass. For Orlando, they have gone 6 of 8 from the free throw line tonight. One forty four left in the third quarter. Payne passes to Towns, shoots over Wagner. That misses off the backboard. And so it's Harris who will bring it up for the Magic. It's rebounded by New York. Achua's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Now here's Payne. Defense is right there. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's on Cole Anthony. And nice intensity from Towns in the paint. Doesn't back off and takes that shot while being fouled. He's off on the first. It's the second from the line. Magic leading by 11. Here's Bancaro. He's got 27. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And Bancaro doesn't back down from anyone, which is why he's able to draw those fouls. He's made one and missed one so far in the game. Shooting two. That free throw, good from Van Carroll. Isaac's checked in for the Magic. And he can't hit the second. Knicks trail by 12. Warren kicks to Payne. There's 47 seconds left to play here in the third. Down to five on the shot clock. 
And here's Warren for three. He's off on that one. Orlando leading by 12. Anthony dishes to Van Carroll. Back to Anthony. 19 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. From 13, he gets it in there. Anthony's got the lead up to 14 now for the Magic. And that pick takes the D totally out of the equation. Yeah, you've got to lock and trail hard. You can't allow him a clean look from that. Here's Towns. Solid as a rock from 20 feet away. And it's 13 points for Carl Anthony Towns. Paolo Bancaro getting it done for the Magic. He put together quite a quarter, 13 points in all. And he looks to be planning for more. Will return shortly. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Knicks trail by 12. Setting the floor for the Knicks. Jalen Brunson out there with Miles McBride. Then there's Warren. Then there's Cameron Payne. And it's Achua in at the five roaming the paint. And, and since halftime, he has just been ice cold. Just can't seem to get anything to go his way. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Oh, heads up play by Warren. Spotting and wide open shooter and delivering a dime. McBride, no good on the free throw. Magic leading by 10. Here's Black. Pass to Anthony. Now, here's Wagner. Offensive rebound. Here's Isaac. Up again. And Isaac stays with it. And the Magic lead by 12. And you have to box out Isaac when you don't. He's capable of putting back those misses. Warren the pass to Brunson. Here's the three. And it's Wagner with the rebound. Wagner's got six rebounds here tonight. Here's Isaac. And Isaac throws it down. Yeah, and Isaac, he just makes dunking look easy. It has an incredible reach and quickly gets up off the floor to throw that one down. To the inside. It's deflected. And stolen by Wagner. Isaac down low. Brunson covering. Wagner outside. Harris outside. Six to shoot. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Magic will retain possession. Knicks on defense. They trail by 14. Wagner with a screen for Anthony. It's hauled in by Achua. And it's Warren with the ball for the Knicks. Payne kicks to Warren. To the paint. Here's Achua. The dunk by Achua. And, and cutting into the lead with the big one-hand throwdown. That's how you get your team back into it. Brunson against Anthony. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. The layup missed. Knicks trail by 12. Warren the pass to Brunson. Brunson draws the double. Three-pointer. And McBride gets it to go. 
Oh, what a find. The ball just comes out of Brunson's hands on time. Here's Anthony, and he wills that one in, sinking right through off the back iron. I love that they're continuing to attack despite being up big. Yeah, they're being absolutely relentless, building this lead in every way possible. Now, here's Warren. There's a screen by Achua. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That's on Jonathan Isaac. And good job there by Warren to draw the foul and get to the line. It's all about positioning, and he really forced the D's hand there to draw the contact. Free throw good from Warren. Orlando making some changes. Wendell Carter, he's checked in for Mo Wagner. Franz Wagner comes in for Harris. And it's Caldwell Pope in for Black. Bridges, he's checked in for the Knicks. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Here's Anthony. Look at the clock, a little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Pass to Wagner. Carter with a screen on Brunson. And here's Anthony from the arc. Knicks trail by nine. McBride passes to Bridges. Let's the three fly. And McBride gets it to go. McBride's got eight points here in this quarter. And this offensive explosion has narrowed the gap. Pass to Carter. Inside. Here's Isaac. They get it back. Caldwell Pope with a screen for Anthony. Another shot. Caldwell Pope with it. So, Stan, we watched Contavious Caldwell Pope's career, and he's played for a handful of teams, and he's been a starter on multiple title teams, including the 2020 L.A. Lakers. Yeah, Kevin, I loved coaching him. This guy is a hard worker. He's one of the best-conditioned athletes in the league. His stamina is incredible. He knocks down threes. It's not a coincidence that he's been on championship right. teams Take in right. two different cities. Yeah, amazing. And he knocks down the first one. Bancaro's checked in for Isaac. And Caldwell Pope drops them both. Knicks trail by eight. Bridges passes to Brunson. Fires from way outside. The deep three by Brunson. And they have gotten themselves back into this game just in the nick of time. If that one had come any later, it would have been Katie bar the door. Yeah, look, they've shown great resolve to work their way back into this one, but they're not done yet. They're going to have to grind it out. New York's gone three or four from downtown here in the fourth. Brunson against Anthony. Fade away. And it's Brunson missing. Orlando leading by seven. Here's Van Carroll. That's in there. Anthony with the assist. Van Carroll's got 30 points. Strong defense against Boncaro inside, but they can't break his focus, and he still manages to knock it down. Now, here's Bridges. Pass to McBride. Outside Warren. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. 
And guys, point of emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, and yet, we still see it a lot. It's a tough thing to police. Jalen Suggs has checked in for Anthony. Carl Anthony Towns checked in for the Knicks. OG Ananobi comes in for Miles McBride. Now, here's Suggs. Bancaro trying to get open. Off with the layup. Here's Brunson. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And he saw a lane, and Brunson decides to challenge it. Doesn't take but a sliver of daylight for him to be aggressive. He misses the free throw. And he's good on the second. Orlando with the ball. Van Carroll with the ball. Takes it inside. Shoots over Towns. And it's Van Carroll missing. Knicks trail by eight. Right here, right here. On the wing, Bridges. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope. Bridges passes to Brunson. Stolen by Caldwell Pope. And stolen by Achua. Here's Brunson. Orlando grabs the miss. Carter's got his eighth rebound here tonight. And Brunson comes to help. Towns with the steal. Brunson with it. Picked up by Suggs. It's stolen by Bancaro. Towns against Wagner. Towns with the defensive effort. And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for the New York Knicks. Eight-point game. The top-of-the-key jumper is on the mark. Making the defense look hopeless. Brunson so clever with his ball handling. And Carroll outside. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's going to be on Precious Achua. No question. He got bumped on that shot. Shooting two. The first one falls. Josh Hart, he's checked in for the Knicks. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Knicks trail by eight. Back to Brunson. Bridges outside. Just five to shoot. And an Obia screen on Caldwell Pope. Bridges misses. Yeah, he's just not himself right now. He's getting decent opportunities like this one, but just failing to convert. And that one drops. And Carroll's got 34 points. And he's going to be a consistent scorer when he can get those shots to fall. Defense has to do a better job against Ben Carroll inside. Pass to Hart. Some nice passing by New York here. Now Brunson. For three. And it's Wagner with the rebound. Wagner's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. To the middle. Carter kicks to Sark. Van Carroll with the ball. He's guarded by Ananobi. Van Carroll against Ananobi. And it's Van Carroll missing. Knicks trail by 10. Brunson outside. 
Pass to Bridges. Fires the three. Traps in the tray. No hesitation from Bridges. He, he gets the ball and is primed to take that shot. Suggs dishes to Carter. Bridges with the steal. And Bridges with a clear path to the basket. Caldwell Pope with some nice D. Magic leading by seven. That's good from Van Carroll. On the assist by Caldwell Pope. Caldwell Pope's got four assists in the game. Now here's Brunson. Over Suggs. Hit some rim on the way in, and the bucket's good. 20 points for him. <laughs> Whoa, he really got his defender on his heels on that one. What a fantastic play, guys. And we've got a timeout called by Jamal Mosley. There was no hesitating. He wants to talk to the team right now. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Jamal Mosley was saying to the team. Now, he heaped praise on the defense. He said, the pressure's great. I love it. Keep making them make mistakes, guys. It's working. He thinks they're on the right track here. Guys, back to you. Thanks, David. Caldwell Pope finds Carter. Suggs in the corner. Sinks the three-pointer. Oh, terrific move offensively from Suggs. He is locked in on that shot and finishes. Here's Brunson. Rebound by the Magic. Suggs has got four rebounds in this game. Towns comes with a double team. And here is Suggs. Here's Caldwell Pope. And there are the Magic with another bucket. And Caldwell Pope able to hit those mid-range shots consistently. But that's one the defense will live with. Here's Brunson. And it's in there. Brunson's got 10 points in the quarter. And, and look at how quick he was to bite on the pump fake. Left his feet way too soon. Orlando leading by 10. Here's Van Carroll, and good that time. Van Carroll's got 38 points. And Van Carroll muscling through all that contact. Suggs against Brunson. Good work defensively by Carter. Orlando's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Here's Suggs. It's good, that's eight baskets for him now. Eight for 15 shooting. And really good habits paying off for Suggs. He's finding shots and drumming up points for his squad. Brunson against Suggs. Brunson the pass to Towns. The shot will not fall. Well, give credit to the defense for cutting him off. Normally, that'd be easy points for him at the rim. And these are the types of games where one team clearly has the edge. Tonight, it will be a win by a large margin for the Magic. 
the biggest factor tonight had to be their great shooting. They shot much better than the other two. Yeah, they were working hard on both sides of the floor, but that sky-high field goal percentage plus the pressure defense to force the other team into a lot of misses. Love the effort tonight. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Paolo Bancaro. Well, just a fantastic job of distributing the ball. When you're able to see the floor like that and take advantage of what the defense gives you, it's huge. And that one is good from Sun. An impressive job by the players, coaches, and don't discount the impact of these fans. No, I'd be lying if I said the crowd doesn't have an impact. It certainly felt from the head coach all the way down. And so it's Orlando taking this one by a big margin. Some good moments throughout this one, but they had the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor, completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And whenever there was a misstep, they just didn't allow it to fester. And that's why they're going to walk away with the win. And that about wraps it up. So for Stan Van Gundy, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, I'm Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. And as we leave you, let's take a look at our player of the game, Paolo Bancaro.